Why, hello internet and welcome to the top 5 weapons you can find online in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And this is me, I'm David Beck. Oh, sorry, that's me. So, yeah, coming in at number 5 we have the MSR Sniper Rifle. So, an important tip with Sniper Rifles is you shouldn't camp in one area, you should keep constantly moving around. So if you've got a really good trigger finger then, you know, this is probably the weapon for you. Uh, it's uh, one of the strongest sniper rifles in the game. It can take out troops if you hit them in the head of a chest. And if you miss a shot, don't worry too much, it's a very forgiving gun. It's got a superb rate of fire, but the recoil is rather high with this one. So try them all out and see which one you think is best. Personally, I think this is probably the best out of all of them. Coming up at number four is the MK14 Assault Rifle. Single shot assault rifle is the most powerful assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3 by 20 damage points. That's good to know, isn't it? It's strong, but it's suited to mid to long range battles instead of total -to time encounters. Also features a slow reload time. So, this is um, a rather good gun if you're very accurate and you know where your enemy is going to come from and you can kind of pre-aim where you think they're going to be. Um, obviously you keep moving around because if you're sitting still you're basically a sitting duck. Uh, so, the trick to this uh, mid to long range gun is accuracy, obviously. Always aim at where the enemy will be. Stalker Pro is great here um, for running shots, so that's something to bear in mind. And Hard Hat is pretty good. I've got quite a lot of kills with this gun on that map. As you can see, there are its stats and it's a semi-automatic. Coming in at number three is the, oh yes, it's the P90 submachine gun as seen on Stargate. <laughs> I love that show, or rather I used to. Here we go. Uh, P90 has one of the largest clip counts out of all the SMG weapons in Modern Warfare 3. So it's very similar to assault rifles. It's very lightweight, so you've got the advantage you can move around more quickly. This also makes you better able to dodge bullets. It's a pretty good all good round weapon actually. If you don't really like the heavy assault rifles, I mean not that they're that heavy. Really good tip with this map is you should keep in the areas which are fairly short range, right? So obviously some areas are better for snipers, some are better for short range weapons. Just stay in the area you feel comfortable with really and don't let the enemy force you out. Bootleg, I've had quite a lot of success with this gun. Coming in at number two, Ooh, what's it gonna be? CARC 6.8 Assault Rifle. This is a great all round assault rifle. Moderately powerful, the ARC has the fastest reload of any assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3 and boasts the lowest recoil suit. This is essentially the game's equivalent of the um, famous FAMAS in Black Ops. Not really a Black Ops fan. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. So this gun is a great all-rounder, however it doesn't mean it will always be the best in every situation. So bear that in mind, you know, you might get somebody coming at you with a shotgun or lighter weapon, um, which might be good at shorter range, but I also find this quite effective at the underground map because, again, there's quite a lot of different kinds of areas, I suppose. Long range, medium range, close range. Drum roll, please, for the final installment. At number one, it is the P90M1. This is a pretty darn good gun. This gas powered SMG packs a moderate punch but boasts an insane fire rate. The trade off is that it takes over 3 seconds to reload, meaning you should always find cover before you change a clip. If you use this gun effectively, you can get a lot of kills. So, what I tend to do is I have a silencer and a range boost, as well as the assassin perk. You get close to the enemy. You should be able to take out five or six of them if you're lucky. It's just great because you can get in where the enemy feels a little bit nervous, but you know, if they're with their teammates, so they don't worry too much, and then all of a sudden you're there with this gun and you're gonna get them. And they don't even see it coming, they don't even see it on the radar, so yeah, brilliant gun um, if you can use it right. It's fairly good on most maps. I suppose the trick to it is really, like I say, getting in close. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, etc. for more and uh, thank you very much.